Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. You're probably thinking, um, why are Britney Spears and Gila in jail right now? Like, why are we looking at them in a cage? Many of our viewers out there are getting brand new Siberian Husky puppies or just brand new doggos, and they're trying to figure out, is my dog the type of dog that needs to be crate trained? On today's episode, we're gonna be talking all about that. <laughs> Look at Miss Gila right here, she's like, oh, yeah. I tried to break out of jail many times, baby. This is my little hole that I made like Andy Dufresne. Oh, one day, I hope to get out of here and hang out with my friends. All right, come on, let's get out. Yeah, I know you're just waiting. Boom, shock and locker. You too, lady, let's do it. Boom, and you're free. No, but in all seriousness, whenever you're dealing with Siberian Huskies, especially Siberian Husky puppies, it's a good thing to ask yourself, should I be crate training my brand new best friend? I know so many people look at cages or crates and they go, oh my goodness, those are the most terrible things in the entire world. I would never ever put my dog in a crate. It's like putting them in prison. It's like torture. But the truth is that crates are a great way to train your dog, especially if you have a Siberian Husky. I know they look scary and personally, no, neither you or I would like to be put into a crate. But the truth is, is that doggos, they don't really understand the risks and the dangers in the real world. They don't understand that they can get harmed if they aren't careful. So it's up to us, it's our responsibility to make sure that they're properly trained and that they're always safe. Isn't that right, broski? <laughs> That's right. Boom! That's the cheddar biscuit, bro. I know, dude, you didn't even have to go to Chick-fil-A to get it. So let's go ahead and debunk the theories of everybody talking about cages being bad. Let's discuss why doggos and crate training can be a very powerful tool and why it's really important to introduce crates very slowly and responsibly and how some dogs just don't do well with crates at all. Are you ready, Freddy? Are you ready? All right, so maybe you just got yourself a Siberian Husky, one of these floofy little Arctic pepperoni pizzas, or maybe you got yourself a brand new puppy dog, and you're thinking, you know, these dogs do so much destruction. They poop and pee all the time, especially when they're itty bitty personal pan sized pepperonis. So I'm thinking about maybe doing some crate training. 60 Formula, can you steer me in the right direction, broski? How do I do the crate training correctly? First things first, if you got yourself a Siberian Husky puppy, you're in the right department to start crate training. Crate training is best done whenever your Siberian Husky or your doggo is young. So if you do have a young pup at home, if you did just get a Siberian Husky puppy, I would suggest start crate training immediately. Typically, I suggest starting the crate training process the day after you pick up your Husky puppy, but if it's a couple weeks and you've just got them, it's still okay to start now. Now you can do one of two things. You can get yourself a smaller crate or you can get a bigger one and you can put a divider and as your puppy grows up, you take the divider out and the cage grows with them essentially. With the divider, it makes the space smaller, but personally, I bought two different cage sizes. So in the garage, there is a way smaller crate for Husky puppies, and these two are the adult size crates that I use for Gila and Britney Spears respectively. So going into the sizes of the adult size crates, these are about 41 inches and above in length. And that typically is the large size of crates when it comes to dogs. Now this right here is the Kong brand, which I absolutely recommend. It's reinforced steel and it has lasted the test of time. I'm talking all sorts of biting and chewing. It has lasted through the training process. This crate right here is a top paw crate, which is PetSmart's home brand. And this crate is not steel reinforced. You can see down here right in the front, where it's been bent by the Huskies during training. Because Huskies typically freak out and they go nuts, it is common for them to bend the bars on the crates. So just remember, if you do go with an off-brand cage like this one or a home brand, which is PetSmart's brand, they aren't as strong as Kong. But you will save a little bit of money. Just keep in mind, the crate will not last the test of time. It will get bent up and there is a chance your Husky will tear it to pieces. All right, now let's talk about trying to figure out whether or not your Husky 
is right for crate training. You're probably thinking, how do I know whether or not my Huskaroni pizza is ready to be crate trained? In my opinion, almost every single Husky should be crate trained, but all Huskies are different and some Huskies come from different backgrounds. Some Huskies were taken away from their parents at very early ages and some Huskies have crazy anxiety or separation issues. So crate training is not for every dog. But if your Husky is destructive and they are tearing up your stuff at home, it is worth a shot because it will remedy the issues of your Siberian Husky tearing up all of your things at home and making a mess of your house when you're not there. So it's no secret that Siberian Huskies like to tear things up whenever you aren't around. If you go to work and you're leaving your Siberian Husky at home, they're probably going to end up destroying something that you really care about. They may even tear up your walls or your floorboards, so it's really important that if you're having this issue, you nip it in the bud. And one of the problems is that when people get this issue, whenever they have a Husky or a dog that ends up tearing all of their stuff apart, they end up giving it away or worse, they end up abandoning it on the streets. So we want to prevent that from happening. We don't want that to happen at all. This is why crate training can be so important for not only Siberian Huskies, but for all dogs. So no matter what crate you choose and you start your training out in, just remember your Siberian Husky or your dog is definitely going to howl and they're definitely going to scream on their first night of training. Huskies definitely don't like being contained or isolated or being alone. So you're going to have to work through this screaming tantrum portion of their training process. And trust me, it's going to be the hardest part of the entire thing. Because when you hear your best friend, your brand new Husky, screaming and crying and going, dude, I can't take it. I need to be next to you. I don't want to be in this cage anymore. It's really going to test you as an owner of your brand new pup as to how strong you really are because this is where you cannot fail. If you want to do this and your dog or your husky is screaming in their cage, you cannot let them out. You have to think of it as a little kid throwing a tantrum, just screaming and crying. And I know it sounds a whole lot different because Huskies like to scream and yell like almost bloody murder, like I'm being tortured. And it sounds awful, but you kind of just have to chug through it and get over their tantrum. Because if you let them out of that cage, whenever they are screaming or howling, that is going to teach them that screaming and howling lets them out of the cage. And every time you put them in there, they'll scream and howl 10 times harder than they did before. So it's important to not fail on this very first tip. If you let them out of their cage when they are screaming and crying, you've already failed. So just go into this remembering, this is going to be hard and they are really going to try and convince you to let them out. Don't fall for it. They're strong enough to stay in there. They're brave enough to do it. Trust me, both of these guys, they do it on a daily basis. But when they don't know what it is, when they're not used to what a crate is, they're really, really scared and they're gonna try and convince you to let them out. So to try and help you out with those first couple of nights, I'm gonna give you guys some amazing tips. First things first, get the crate and put it in a common area. So you see, this is my house right here. My couch is right out there. So the crates are right here. The crates also see outside when these windows are open during the day so they can see who's coming to the front door and they can see when someone walks through the front door right here. This is a key location. A lot of people like to take crates because they're eyesores, take them and they put them in like a laundry room or a spare room like this. People go, oh, I can put the crates in here and put the dogs in here when I leave and no one will even know they're here. Doing that is going to set you up for failure. Go ahead and do yourself a favor and put your crates in an area that's wide open and an area where you spend a lot of time. It's gonna make your Husky feel a lot more comfortable and it's going to be a lot more easy on your pepperoni. The second thing you wanna do is create a schedule and every single day adhere to that schedule never break off of it because Huskies learn from routine. So if you do something every single day, if you keep up with something all the time, they're going to get more accustomed to it, more comfortable, which means they won't be screaming and crying. So to be honest with you, when I was training my Huskies to be crate trained, I slept on the couch. A lot of people are like, should I move the crate from my bedroom to the living room constantly? I honestly slept in the living room so that Gila and Britney Spears could constantly have 
an eye on where I was. Now you don't have to do this, but it certainly helps. If you put your Siberian Husky in a cage in a completely separate room than you, it's going to make it a whole lot harder. You probably can get through the process, but I'm telling you, you are going to be listening to your Husky freak out for much longer. They will stop crying and they will stop screaming a lot sooner if they're in the same room as you. So just keep keep that in mind. Right up in that, yeah, lick it. Yeah, lick, lick, there you go. Again, with the schedules, every single night, if you want a crate train, put your Huscaroni pizza in that cage at 1030. If they are small and they have to go out, so if they're not an adult Husky and they are a puppy, you need to let them out of the crate every four hours to go to the bathroom. That means if you have to wake up in the middle of the night, you gotta wake up in the middle of the night, baby. If they are an adult Husky, which I would say is about nine to 12 months old, you're getting there, then you can let them try and stay in the crate all night long. But no matter what, even if you take them out for the bathroom as a puppy, bring them right back to the crate and make sure they don't come out of the crate until eight o'clock in the morning or whatever time that you choose and practice this for two weeks. After two weeks, your Husky's gonna be a pro at that crate. But admittedly, the first night is going to be very, very difficult. The second night is going to be very, very difficult. And the third night, it should start getting a little bit easier, but hey, it's still gonna be difficult. And just remember, you're gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of crying and a whole bunch of whining. That Husky's gonna be in a cage right next to you in the same room. Just try and bear through it. Get yourself some AirPods, put them in your head, listen to some Muzak. Crate training is hard. It's very difficult and it takes a lot of time and patience. But if you succeed in doing it, you are going to to ensure that your Siberian Husky or your pepperoni pizza is absolutely safe. And all of your stuff at home, your house, all of your goods, all of your prized possessions, those are going to be safe too because your Huskies aren't gonna be tearing it up or doing anything bad when you ain't home. So if you guys have any questions about crate training, if you have any inquiries about what you should be doing or anything that we missed, please ask us, let us know in the comments down below. We'll be sure to answer them ASAP so that you guys can be sure to get your Husky on the right track to being crate trained. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today and thanks for having an awesome time with me and Britney Spears and Miss Gila. We had an absolute blast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any alerts on the brand new Huscaroni Pizza episodes. Don't forget to smash that like button and we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace! <laughs>